And joining me now to talk more about this, as well as the Food Modernization Act, George Hebinger, founder of the Survive and Thrive TV. Hey there, George. Let's talk first about the Senate Bill S-510. On your website, uh, you voice your opinion about U.S. food and U.S. farms being put under the control of the Department of Homeland Security and Defense, as is uh, said to, to happen in this bill. Um, in the bill, it says that they want to do this in the event of contamination. Talk to me about what you think about this. Well, I've read a summary of the bill, and you just have to look at who are the people opposing this bill and who are the people that are supporting it. If you look at the people that are opposing it, it's local farms, organic farms, raw food groups. If you look at the people supporting it, you know, it's the corporate agribusiness giants and associations like General Mills and um, other groups and associations. So, once again, this is, this is a bill designed for the corporate government monopolies. And considering the economic situation right now, it's, it's, it's totally absurd. In the bill also, um, a removal of the right to clean and store seeds. I mean, isn't that what every parent loves to do with their kid is, you know, grow vegetables in the garden? Why, why and how could this possibly be against the law if this bill passes? Well, what we're seeing with this economic collapse in America, is, especially in California, you're seeing a huge growth in local farms and, uh, you know, people just trying to live and produce uh, food to eat. And they're getting a surplus and they're selling that to their friends and family and neighbors. Now, what this bill does is it seeks to regulate, control, and eventually kill these small farmers. Uh, there also seems to be, um, just switching gears to, to the government aspect of this a little bit, there seems to be a lot of revolving doors. I mean, we are in Washington, but several names of people who used to work for Monsanto um, are here, including, I mean, uh, on the Supreme Court, uh, Justice Clarence Thomas. We see people in the FDA who used to work for Monsanto. What do you think about all this? Uh, this is just one in many steps our government has taken to partner with the big, large corporations. I mean, this is a sense of, this, this is fascism, this is corporatism, and it's leading to the destruction of, of our economy. I think eventually, at some point, um, just like what happened in Iceland, the people are going to have to rise up and physically take these people out of office and stop this, stop what's going on in this country. It's just getting utterly ridiculous when you can't even grow your own food. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, we've seen over the last few years many people blaming uh, diseases that are much more prevalent over the last 10 years, things like autism, ADHD, new forms of cancer. Uh, they're blaming these on everything else, from vaccinations to air pollution, but not a lot of people seem to be pointing their finger at GMOs. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, these large business, uh, businesses, these agricultural corporations, they lobby uh, Congress. And th what else could be more natural about growing your own food? Growing your own food should be as natural as eating your own food. But what you have here is large corporations doing whatever they can to monopolize the distribution of food and to control it because they want more profit. They want to make more money. And I think what you're going to see as we see this depression take hold in America, you're going to see people starve because they won't be able to afford the food that's coming strictly from the corporations. We should have diversification of the food supply, not centralization of it. Certainly a scary thought, too, to think that all of these this, um, genetically modified organisms are in 70%, such a high number. George Hemminger, founder of Survive and Thrive TV.